Life Kids. Welcome to our new series, Brave. In this series, we're going to talk about people in the Bible that learn how to be strong, brave, and courageous because of God. But before we go on, I want to invite everybody to please stand up and we're going to worship the Lord together. Thanks for watching Life Tree Kids. This is the story of how courageous prayers of the prophet Elijah led the people back to God. Elijah had the courage to pray some pretty crazy prayers because Elijah believed God would keep his promises. God sent the king away, Elijah should have been afraid, but took a stand anyway. God made a promise to him, Elijah dared to believe it and he knew he would see it. God said, I'll make, make it rain. rain. Elijah had the courage to pray So Elijah saw God that day Jump back three years ago Elijah walked up to King Ahab's throne Elijah's words were bold He said it's not gonna rain till I say so So the land got crusty and dry But God sent Elijah fruit from the sky King Ahab tried to track him down But Elijah was nowhere to be found When three years rolled around God sent Elijah back to old Ahab's town You come to bring trouble now? I challenge y'all to a big showdown Ahab and Queen Jezebel And the wicked priests of the false god Baal And all the people of Israel Met Elijah on top of Mount Carmel God sent the king away Elijah should have been Afraid, but took a stand anyway God made a promise to him Elijah did to believe it And he knew he would see it God said, I'll make it rain Elijah had the courage to pray So Elijah saw God that day First was Baal's team's turn, they got their sacrifice all set to burn Then prayed and begged and yearned, but no fire came, they had a lesson to learn They danced and cried all day, no matter what they tried, it didn't work anyway No fire was come today, there is no Baal, he couldn't hear them pray Elijah made the call with twelve stones and wood, his altar stood tall But then he did something odd, he wanted to make sure people knew it was God He called some servants out, had them bring four giant water jugs out Because there was a drought, he had them soak the wood and there was no doubt Elijah prayed that God would be known as the one true God, and God answered Fire, fire, fire came down from heaven and burned it all up Fire, fire, even licked up the water and dried it all up 
Elijah said, King, listen now, far away, hear a rainy day kind of sound. Elijah bowed low on the ground and prayed to God to send the rainstorm down. Elijah sent a friend to spy, but no rain clouds were in the sky. He prayed and looked seven times till one tiny cloud came rolling by. God sent the king on word. Elijah should have been afraid, but took his stand anyway. God made a promise to him. Elijah dared to believe it, and he knew he was seeing. God said, I'll make it rain. Elijah had the courage to pray. So Elijah saw God that day. Elijah saw God that day. So Elijah saw God that day. There's a great ending to a great story, but God wants you and me to pray courageously like that because we can count on God's promises. He makes them and never breaks them. Hi, you life kids. Welcome back. Um, we just finished watching our Bible story um, earlier. Um, our Bible story, um, if you have your Bible, you can find it actually in 1 King um, chapter 18, verses 20 to 39. Um, and in the story, you know, God told Elijah to go to, go to King Ahab and um, tell him to meet him at Mount Carmel. And he told, you know, King Ahab to bring the people of Israel and his prophets. So the king, so King Ahab and the people of Israel met Elijah um, at the mountain. So when they were at the mountain, Elijah set up a challenge um, to show who is the one true God. So King Ahab's prophets um, set up an altar first and put a bull on it. Um, and Elijah told them that um, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to call Baal or Baal and ask him to send fire to your altar. And I will call on the Lord and ask him the same thing. So the God who answers by sending fire is the one true God. So the prophets of Baal or Baal went first. Um, they danced and they cried, you know, around um, the sacrifice. Um, they cried out and asking, you know, Baal or Baal to send fire on the altar. But it took them so many hours but still, there's no fire. Um, the funny thing is, Elijah actually made fun of them and kind of like told them, hey guys, I think you need to cry louder or shout louder because Baal or Baal cannot hear you. So they did that one, but still it took, you know, more hours and still no answers and no fire coming down from the sky. So finally, it's Elijah's turn but, you know, Elijah decided to do an extra challenge this time. So Elijah ordered the priest um, to soak the altar with water. And when it's done, Elijah prayed to God. And immediately, the fire fell down on the altar. Imagine it's wet and it consumed everything. And the people in, at that time knew that the God Elijah served is actually the one true God. So boys and girls, in our Bible lesson for today, we're going to learn that there is only one true God. And God wants us to worship only Him. And He wants us to love Him, you know, with all our hearts. God doesn't want us to be like Israelites, you know, where they worship an idols. They worship Baal. Um, and idols um, is not only like, you know, a form or an image um, of a person or a thing, you know, like Baal, you know, in our story. But actually, idols can be in other forms. It can be something that we do that take away you know, our time in spending time with God. For example, if we're watching too much TV, if we're playing too much, you know, video games or anything else, you know, that can harm us. Those are the things that God doesn't want us to do. Um, I know sometimes it could be challenging. Maybe um, you're the only one in your school or in your 
household and in your family you know that um are following you know god just like elijah um it could be tough but that shouldn't that shouldn't discourage us you know when we are surrounded by people um who live in the ways that doesn't please god um, it could be tempted you know or tempting to do the same thing but you know what we can always do is just to spend time with god more in prayer and in worship and eventually the more we do it the more we practice it and the more we obey god those people that are around us will actually notice the change and the difference in us and god can actually use us to be um to be a witness you know to others to show them a better way how to live their life you know with the presence of god so i just want to encourage you today you know boys and girls that um like elijah he knew that god is on his side he knew that whenever he calls to god god will answer he had that confidence you know if he has that confidence um and you know the courage that god has given him god can give it to you so um i just want to also before i end this lesson i want to challenge you with these questions like the same thing you know elijah um challenge or ask these questions to the israelites um it's actually in first king 18 21 so elijah challenges the people with these questions so he challenged them like how long will you um waver between two options so if if the lord he said is god then follow him but if baal is god or the idols you think is better than god follow him um so so boys and girls we have to choose so either we are for god or we are not for god but I want to encourage you that if we choose God, for sure, we are always in the winning side. Um, so as I end this, you know, um, Bible lesson, um, I want to pray. Um, if we can close our eyes and um, if you want to put your hands in your heart and I'm going to lead you in prayer. Um, let's pray. Um, God, we just thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, that we know that you are the one true God, that you want our worship, that you want our hearts. God, I just pray, God, that everyone in this place, everyone that's watching right now, every kids, God, Lord, I pray, God, that you would um, touch our hearts, God. Lord, help us, God, to choose, God, to be in your side. Lord, help us, God. Give us the courage and the strength, God, to say yes to the things that pleases you. Father, we just thank you and we love you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, boys and girls, um, I hope you learned something today. Um, have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye!